In today's video, I'd like to share with you how to do city street photography. Now, I absolutely love doing this area of photography because there's always so much to explore and create. And I thought today I'd share with you some tips and tricks on how to absolutely nail this yourself. And also at the end of today's video, we are going to be having a look for the hashtag CP photos. The first photography tip I can give you, and I think this is the best one and is the key to success, and that is to have confidence. Now, there's no real like clear-cut way on how to like gain confidence or anything like that. The best advice I can give anyone, let me try and put the camera down here. It's not the most like appealing place, but there you go. The best advice I can give to anybody is just to practice. The more you practice, the more confident you're going to get and the better your results are going to be. I can remember right, starting out doing any kind of street photography and just being so nervous using the camera because I'm worried people are staring at me. And I later just started to realise that it doesn't really, really matter because people are going to look at me maybe for a few seconds, right? And then they're going to start walking on, go around a different corner and completely forget about me. So it's kind of getting past that mental block that people are going to be like judging you or anything like that. And I don't think many people actually speak about confidence. So the best way to get around that I can say is just have a ton of practice. Photography tip number two is to not obsess over camera equipment. Now I think that's a little bit rich coming from me considering I am using the Sony a7R4 which is definitely undisputed the best mirrorless camera, the best camera I've ever owned. It is just an absolute beast. But if you have a bog standard DSLR camera or anything like that, you will be able to get amazing results with it because it's not to do really with the body. What's more important, I think, is the lenses themselves. Now, you can get amazing results with zoom lenses. I mean, 24 to 70 is an absolutely I don't know how much that siren's coming through. If it is, I do apologise. The 24 to 70 is an absolutely fantastic lens, especially at 70 mm f 2.8. But a prime lens, what I love about them, prime lenses make you think about your composition and how you are framing a shot. That's what I really like about them because sometimes you have to go closer, you have to go further back to get that perfect shot. And you can pick them up quite cheaply as well. I think for Nikon, Canon and Sony, you can all pick up like a 50 f 1.8 for less than 200 quid. And then you have access to that beautiful, amazing f 1.8 aperture, which is just an absolute dream to work with. And let's say hi to these guys here who are giving up. Woo! Photography tip number three is to use the right settings. Now for me, when I'm doing any type of photography really, I'm always in manual mode. But I know when doing city street photography, a lot of people sometimes jump to using aperture priority mode. Because say for example, in a fast paced environment and you see a photograph and you're in the wrong settings of manual mode, you'll have to adjust everything to get the exposure right and you have a high chance of actually missing that shot. Whilst in aperture priority mode, say you wanted to stick at an f1.8 aperture, you can set that in the aperture priority mode and it will only adjust the shutter speed and the ISO so it gets the right exposure. Um, but I think that's everyone's personal preference. For me, I much prefer to dial everything in and get it how I want it exposed in camera. But within that, in terms of technical quality, it isn't always about having the sharpest image, using the fastest aperture and having the cleanest ISO. What I think is more important, especially when you're doing street portraiture, is the story. If you have a really good story, then the image is just going to speak for itself. And what you want to do is transport your viewer into that moment. And that brings me on really nicely to my next point. Photography tip number four is to observe and not always capture. And what I mean by this is when I'm going out and do photography, I think a lot of people know I never have like a clear goal or objective. I just go there to explore and create. But even then, when I do go there, I'm always observing. I'm looking at the people, I'm looking at the buildings, the lighting, the framing and seeing what I can put together in a single photograph. And I know sometimes it's really tempting when you go out and do photography because you're going out to do photography is just to capture everything. But sometimes if you take that step back, look at everything around you, you'll have more focus for your photograph and I think that sometimes equates to even better photography. How good is that view of York Minster right there? I actually haven't got long to film this, there's someone coming around to probably kick me off the wall right now. So the last photography tip I can give you is to shoot in all times of day and shooting all weather. If you're limiting yourself to just shooting in one time a day, you're limiting yourself to what kind of photography you can create, and from that, you're gonna be in a creative dead end. So what I like to do is shoot in all weather, the rain, the snow, freezing cold, the golden hours, at night, because, say for example, you go down one street, 
it might look completely different if you see it in the day to how you see it at night or how you see it in the rain to how you see it when it's glorious sun so by giving yourself that opportunity you're going to be seeing different opportunities you're going to meet new characters you're going to be seeing different composites and you're going to be able to create better photography that is all the tips i've got for you today so before we end today's video let's get back and have a look for the hashtag cp photos or should we try and do it here I don't see why not. Screen recording going. Let's have a look at recent. And our first one today is this deck of cards by Jaden. I, I really like this photograph. Really creative, really cool. I like that you've got the leaves and everything like that. Makes a real interesting composite right there. When looking through the hashtag today, what I'm trying to look for is city street shots. So this one right here by Seventh Aperture, it's got a kind of like abandoned kind of feel because of the guy with his head in his hand, the frame right here, the hockey table. I just love everything about that shot right there. I like this one. I looked at this earlier by Lucas Dove. I know it's not city street photography, but I just like the man sitting at the table with this like maybe his office kind of thing going on right here. I love that. I love the tones as well. The tones are fantastic. This one right here, this black and white one by Luke. I really like that. Nice, simple shot. And I also like that you got the lamppost right there as well, which is almost mistaken for the crane when I first saw it. So that's, that's really cool as well. And we'll have a look. At, let's scroll down. We'll have a little look at a couple. God, he's a loud bugger. I'll uh, have a look at a couple more today. This one here. I absolutely love this one by Adzian. Again, apologize, but that is a really cool shot right there. I love that. That is, I'm gonna strangle that bird in a minute. I really like this photograph. That is, the first one is definitely better with a bike. Oh, not again, not another bloody tear. Oh, I hate it. You might be wondering, right, why I have these backgrounds up. I don't know if I've ever told anyone. It's because I'm not allowed to paint the walls in here. So I have to use these backgrounds, but the problem is I can't adjust them. They're just stuck to the wall, but they always fall off the wall because of heat in the room. So the stickiness just always fails. I can't wait right till I have my own place and I can like fully kit out, but I'm just waffling on at this point. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to everyone continuing to use the hashtag CP photos over on Instagram and follow me as well. And if you're not using hashtag over on Instagram, make sure you do. Your work might be featured at the end of one of my videos and we are trying to reach 10,000 posts on the hashtag as well. So um, yeah. Do it. But yeah, that's where I'm going to be leaving today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I sound very demanding right now. But it all be really deeply appreciated. It means a lot. And it, it's great to have that support for the channel. And if you want to see any other kind of tutorial videos or anything specific, let me know. Comment in the comment section below. Drop me a message over on Instagram. And I'll see what I can do. But until next time, everyone, take care. Keep creating. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.